Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, this morning on CBS Mornings, you'll get to hear Melinda op- Melinda Gates opening up about what led to her divorce from Bill Gates. Now, she sat down with Gail King, and she talked about her whole healing journey. Did you have moments where you were just so angry? Did you have moments that you were just in such pain? Well, I think it's really important to say, look, I had a lot of tears for many days. I mean, days where I'm literally laying on the floor and the carpet, you know, this close to me, thinking, how can this be? How can I get up? That's part of the grieving process. You're grieving a loss of something you thought you had and thought you had for your lifetime. And at the end of the day, though, I started on this journey of healing and I feel like I'm starting to get to the other side. I'm actually really excited about what's to come in life ahead for me. They were married for 27 years, and they announced their split in May. They released a joint statement that said, we no longer believe we can grow together as a couple in this next phase of our lives. If you guys recall, he had an affair with a staffer 20 years ago, which was confirmed by a spokesperson for him last May as well. Here's what Melinda Gates said about trust. After the news came out, it was revealed that uh, Bill Gates admitted that he had had an affair in the marriage. and. At that time, did you think we're going to work through this? How did you handle something like that? Well, I certainly believe in forgiveness. Um, So I thought we had worked through some of that. It wasn't one moment or one specific thing that happened. There just came a point in time where there was enough there that I realized it just wasn't healthy Mm -hmm. and I couldn't trust what we had. Mm, So she forgave that, but there was other things that got her to that point. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll hear some of those things in that interview this morning. She's still worth she's worth 2.4 billion, by the way. But I mean, I, I'm sure that's difficult. You start with somebody 20 years and, and 27, 27 years, Marriage. and gaining that trust back is one of the most difficult things. Um, to trying to you know because it's it's you're everything, and you disrespect or you cheat or you you're not honest with your everything, and then it's hard to get that back. All right, very well, difficult. Kim Kardashian is legally single, so congratulations to her. We know that's what she wanted. The judge did grant her motion. How'd you like that? You hear the camera guy Nick was like, woo! Okay, Nick. (laughs) Yes, she has been granted her motion seeking the legal status, and they said the case had stalled for several months, but there was a lot of progress, and he also finalized, the uh, judge also finalized dropping West from her name. So she is back to Kim Kardashian, no longer Kim Kardashian West. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely pray for them. I mean, she, this is what she wanted. Hopefully they both get the healing that they need. But on another note, that Kanye West documentary is amazing. Yeah, I, we'll talk about that more too. That is great. And I see Kanye was also hanging out with Tristan Thompson. Uh, the two of them were dining at the Satai in Miami Beach with a few other dinner guests as well. Mm-hmm. And that's an interesting hookup. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if he was trying to hang out with Amber Rose again, too. So we shall see. But he also released a music video that was targeting Pete Davidson after his marriage was dissolved. And that is for that song, Easy, of course, that he has. Well, he ended the video with two slides that said, everyone lived happily ever after, except Skeet, you know who. And then he said, just kidding, he's fine. And so I, I don't understand why Kanye's so mad at, at I was about to say Skeet at Pete Davidson. They're not friends. They didn't grow up with each other. Also in the video, uh, there's a depiction of him burying a cartoon man that resembles Pete Davidson alive. Yeah, I don't know why he's so mad with Pete. Like Pete is he's 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 a man. He he doesn't know you. He doesn't owe you anything. You having problems with your wife? He, ex-wife now. Ex-wife. Him and your ex-wife got together, and what he he doesn't owe you anything. He doesn't owe you loyalty. He's not your friend. He didn't grow up with you. You're not you're, you know. A source told Entertainment Tonight that Pete Davidson isn't bothered by Kanye's attacks on him. He said Pete finds Kanye's lyrics and interviews about him funny and entertaining. He's super chill about the situation and doesn't take it too personally, but he hates that Kim has to deal with the drama. Hmm. All right, well, that is your front page news. No, that's rumor. I mean, uh, your rumor report. All right. You're right. We got front page news next. What are we talking about? Uh, We are going to talk about the guy who was on the subway smearing feces on that woman. He Mm -hmm. was arrested, and he's back on the streets already. We'll tell you what happened. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.